In recent data revisions released last week, the United Kingdom's economic performance since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic has outpaced that of both France and Germany. According to the Office for National Statistics, ONS, the British economy expanded by 1.8% by the end of the second quarter compared to the final quarter of 2019, which was the last full quarter before the pandemic's arrival. In contrast, a previous estimate by ONS in August indicated that the UK GDP was still 0.2% below its pre-pandemic levels, making it the slowest recovery among advanced economies. Currently, France's economy is 1.7% higher than its fourth quarter 2019 level. While Germany, often dubbed the sick man of Europe by some economists, is just 0.2% above pre-pandemic levels. British Finance Minister Jeremy Hunt remarked on the revised data, stating, the revised data once again disproves the skeptics. The best way to sustain this growth is by adhering to our plan to reduce inflation this year. With the IMF forecasting that we will outpace Germany, France, and Italy in the long term. The data shows that second quarter GDP growth is estimated at 0.2%, and the first quarter growth has been revised upwards to 0.3% from the previous estimate of 0.1%. Despite its resilience thus far, the UK economy is not yet free from challenges. To curb high inflation, the Bank of England has raised interest rates from 0.1% to 5.25% since December 2021. And this tightening of monetary policy is beginning to impact the real economy. Regrettably, this snapshot of economic data does not significantly alter the overall perception of a stagnant economy. Output is only 0.4% higher than a year ago at the same time. If anything, the GDP data revisions may slightly temper the UK's growth prospects for 2023 and 2024 as they reduce the potential for a strong rebound. PwC anticipates sluggish growth while monetary tightening continues to exert pressure on economic activity. They project that annual GDP growth will remain significantly below trend for this year and the next. Richard Carter, head of fixed interest research at Quilter Cheviot, offered a glimmer of hope, suggesting that the data implies the UK may avoid a recession and signs indicate that the country's cost of living crisis may be easing for households. However, Carter cautioned that the rapid increase in interest rates and the cumulative effects of the cost of living crisis could lead to challenges in 2024. The Bank of England has been navigating a delicate balance between curbing inflation and the risk of pushing the economy into a recession, while the UK is also facing a general election in 2024. In summary, the UK's economy has unexpectedly outpaced France and Germany, but challenges loom primarily stemming from inflation and monetary policies. The road ahead remains uncertain as the nation strives for sustained growth and stability. Thanks for watching.